Batman thought that I was thanking him for his road gesture, but really, I was <laughs> you were just amusing. <laughs> um. Hello. Hiya. Oh, and welcome to another edition of the Car Pun Game. Joining me today is comedian, writer, actor, one of my favourite human beings in the whole oh. wide world. Oh, crumbs. Oh, yes. It's Jessica Foster Q. Hiya. Oh, yeah. Pun time. Oh, are you? Now, this is meant to be because not only uh, are you a lover of puns. Yeah. I mean, you've been on the pun run. But so, also, this meeting. Yeah. What was the name of your Edinburgh show last year? Um. <laughs> you can't remember? Uh, Colin. Sorry. Imaginary Colin. Imaginary Colin. So, <gasps> Real Colin. Real Colin. How uh, that show was in your life for a, a long time. Yeah. You can't even remember the bloody title. Well, you can tell how well it went. <laughs> it's still very present in the public psyche. <laughs> we yeah. are going to uh, turn the radio on. Yeah. Get some words. Do some puns. Yeah. And then we'll go back and write a show about it. Perfect. Then we'll forget. Morning. Morning. I took uh, the early part of the day to a repair store. I walked in and they said, what's the problem? I said, morning's broken. Oh. In more enlightened parts of the world, they don't use the horrible phrase builder's bum because in more enlightened part of the world, they have more female builders yeah. and there they call it crack of dawn. <laughs> <laughs> and on that, those yeah. female builders you were talking about, yeah. they often join together in the morning and sing songs uh, in a church style -y. It's a dawn chorus. Oh, lovely, all the dawns. <laughs> the dawn chorus went to sing at a um, farm. Yeah. And um, one particular type of animal got quite distressed by it and it turned out that they'd been alarmed. I'm gonna drink of water Just after that. Wash my mouth out. Oh, a bit of a stick. Do you mind if I get this very quick? Whoa! Yeah, go on, fine. They haven't got any cream cheese. I can never see the cheese that I need in there, don't worry about it. Childcare emergency, but couldn't find cheese. Cheese emergency. I think we can use that as our next word, though. Cheese. Cheese. You're just saying that you couldn't. You often can't see the cheese you want in the I supermarket. I can't bear that. Oh! I've got a seven-month-old, and I mean, he at times can be such a baby bellend. <laughs> They had a terrible time um, with con people um, and they um, had to bring in a new word because people were trying to um, say, yeah, you've got an awful lot of cheese there you're trying to buy, but what they're doing is constantly keeping it moving oh, right. um, and that is making the weight of it fluctuate. Um, and so from then they changed the law in the 15th century to say, no, if you're going to sell cheese, you've got to um, keep the weightage completely stationary. Yeah. And that's where we get the word stilton. Stilton. Well, we've all learnt something. Up in Yorkshire, mm. um, there's this um, dear older um, gentleman and his son is called Lee. He was in his nursing home there, up, oh. in, the, up in the hills. Yeah. And he's constantly asking um, when his son was coming to visit him. It, every day, all he would ask is over and over again, oh, p please, can you tell me when he's coming? Um, and um, when he passed away, they named that bit of countryside after him, and it's now it's called Wensley Dale. <laughs> <laughs> Did his son own a farm? Probably, I think he did. Dairy Lee. <laughs> I think I just heard my own heart break. <laughs> An AG oven with steam bake isn't just a great oven. What? Bake. I met this bunch of tulips once, and um, you know, they just looked after themselves. They didn't have any parents, they didn't get any money off the state, they were self raising flowers. Oh, nice, please. We 
should be coming up with more stuff for this cricket because this one should be a piece of cake. Hello. Uh, starting in Belfast, the Cathedral Quarter Arts Festival. Mm -hmm. um, uh, in, in... Festival. I met this artist and he used to create, uh, recreate large pieces of fruit out of this uh, see-through substance. They're really big sculptures of bits of fruit out of these see-through substance, very heavy. I mean, I saw his glass tonberry. Oh, lovely. They've dedicated one entire festival to a crimson bell, and they've called it Reading. <laughs> There's a dog festival, obviously, Leeds. There's one near my house, actually. I don't. I just, I can just walk there, end of the road. <laughs> Obviously, the French have got very sophisticated with their recycling festival cans. <laughs> you know the festival that does the best coffee? No. Latitude. Latitude. I went to a festival, and all there was was a big marquee and a gazebo. I had to leave because it was too tense. <laughs> we stick your cameo beach. Here is an avenue of visible world. Beach. It's quite... I've got a good feeling about this one. I feel sure about it. When the sea comes in, I like to greet it. I say, hi, tight. <laughs> hi, tight. I hurt my leg once. Yeah. I was doing this uh, race in the sea. Hurt my leg. And someone said, what are you going to do, are you going to run? And I said, no. They said, what, are you going to hop? I said, no, I'm going to limp it. <laughs> <laughs> I love the ones I can't see them coming. Right, final word, possibly. Different kind of conversation with the artists that we love. That's funny. Artists. One famous old artist would get very annoyed um, if people took too long uh, choosing their... <laughs> <laughs> their, their lounge furniture. Yeah. Um, I can't remember what it's called. I think it was pick a sofa. <laughs> Do you know where the surreal artists buy their lunch? No. At the Salvador Deli. Nice. <laughs> There's actually a type of pizza that you can get that's got um, a whole set of different um, artist flavours. Mm. Like inspired by artists, one art particular artist, and it's called Four Cezannes. And that is the end of the car pun game. I mean, I think we can all agree we've had fun. We've had fun. We've all learnt something. It's been educational and fun. Yeah. Yeah. We know that some people can't buy cheese very well without phoning their other half. No. Nope. That's all we've learnt. And I learnt a shortcut to my local Halfords. Jess, that was lovely. Thank, Thank you so you much. Thank you for having me. Do you have anything that you would like oh, to tell yeah. these lovely people about? Yeah, I've got, I'm working on a new show. It's called Monster in a Cardigan. And I'm going to be doing it at the Camden Festival in August on the 10th and 11th of August at the Camden Head at 9.30 at night. Thank you, Jess. Thank I've enjoyed you. it. And if you could sum it up in a, this experience in a word, what would it be? Turgid. See you next time. <laughs> I want to beat my horn, that was so good, but that, the BMW, don't. don't do that. No. They'll have a gun. <laughs>